27 years after the Oklahoma City bombing, one of the youngest survivors is on her way to becoming a doctor. KOCO's Kylie Thomas has more on that journey. Madison Naylor was a baby at the YMCA daycare near the Murrah building in 1995 when the bomb went off. I don't remember the day. Um, everything I know has been like over my lifetime hearing others tell me. I was one of the, the infants that was evacuated um, and was okay, as it turns out, completely uninjured. Both Naylor's parents were working at OU Health that day. My mom heard the bomb go off. My dad did not realize what had happened. And so it was the 90s and the two of them tried to like coordinate and the pre cell phone era. And um, so it was pretty stressful for them. 168 people killed in the bombing, including 19 children. My mom uh, said that I was being held by a really nice lady um, and she still doesn't know who that person was. Naylor says that tragedy has shaped her life, inspired her to help others. It's always been a part of my story. I think it's one of the reasons why I feel like I was very idealistic and wanted to go into medicine in the first place. And become an Oklahoma doctor. I was just always hoping to come back here and stay here because I feel like this is really like where I want to end up long term. For the past four years, she's been studying medicine at OU Med. This week, she finally got the news she's been waiting for. It was match week for um, medical students across the country. And when I opened my envelope that told me the location, which was here, um, I cried and it was it was messy, but I was so happy. Naylor will be specializing in pediatrics at OU Med, helping save children just like her. In pediatrics, you really have the opportunity to like step into a young person's life and make a big impact on their health. No matter what, I just, I want to be like a positive influence for people and I hope I can do that. Full circle, Kylie, thank you. Naylor will graduate this May and start her residency in July.